Scott Dixon. Talked about taking down force off the car. Would it be unmanageable? There's the answer. The former winner into the wall hard. It is such a fine line be between having enough downforce and taking it all out for that final run. And I don't know what happened, but I would say there's a, it's a good bet that it was just not enough grip to hang in there. Probably over the edge and almost undrivable. Now Washington. this changes everything for Ed Carpenter. And there he is already in the middle of the turn of turn four, the car has already come around from him, so that means one of two things. The car was very loose where the back end wants to come around on you. It had already swapped ends or something broke on the car and then the car swapped around on him. We'll have to get a report from him. He was sideways very, very early on. And nobody seemed to have hit any of those big pieces of debris, which is great. Mm, that's, a, I, that's a very strange spin. In what way? But just way so early. You, it, normally that doesn't happen. He started spinning as he turned into turn four. On board Elio Castro Neves, who was right behind Dixon. You can see, just the car starts to yeah. come around on him right mid turn. As we're yellow, yellow, yellow. He just got really light in the back. That wing, those wing changes are so tricky. You just, it's always a guess as to how much you can take out. And it, so often, even, if even a team like Ganassi cannot get it right, it just shows you what a crapshoot that is. And when they make those wing adjustments, what it does, it either puts downforce, more grip into the car, or takes downforce off of it. It makes the car have less grip in the turn. And that's what he called for, Alan, because he felt that he did not have the speed down the straightaway, wanted less wing angle. For those of us who've not driven cars here in Indianapolis, do you have time to be scared? Do you think about it at all when that car snaps around like that? What does it feel like inside the car? That, those two tents that you saw, for him, felt like a quarter of an hour. Mm. You feel it loose. You feel it go sideways. You try to correct it. You know you have a long way to go, and you just sit there waiting for that bang. And he, he was, he had a, a good bang because he went in backwards. The worst ones are the ones where you go in at a 90 degree angle. And let's not forget that safer wall that absorbed a lot of that information, a lot of that energy. And these cars are so great inside the cockpit because the, everybody has actually built the seats to, specific to the driver as we see, as we understand Joseph Newgarden's car over there in the grass area. Pit lane is open, the leaders are in. We didn't see what happened in Newgarden. I have no idea what he's doing there. Follow up on that in a minute. So 30 laps to go. The crash from Scott Dixon. Vince is down in his pit. Mike, Scott had just asked on the previous, before the previous stop to take some downforce off the car to make it a little more racy. Any impression from you that that contributed to the accident? Well, actually what happened was he, we, we meant to take downforce out of the car, but because it was, everybody came in under yellow, we, we took out a very small amount. We didn't take out what we wanted, would have done on the final stop. Uh, so, no, it didn't contribute to that, I don't, we don't think. Had he indicated prior to uh, ill handling with the car before the accident? No, I don't think the car was ill handling at all. You know, it just, uh, people need to understand, the viewers need to understand how close to the edge the guys are that in that front pack. You know, you had four people that are broken away from everybody else, and they were, they were running fast laps. Uh, and, and I think that that's really what's going on. It could have happened to any four of those, guy, any four of those guys. Indeed. Thanks for the time, Mike. Thank you. All right, and we hope to hear from Scott Dixon in a bit. What happened to Joseph Newgarden? We saw Dixon crash. There's Newgarden's car inside the corner. Now, Joseph Newgarden seems to be coming out in a normal line. And that looks like Martin Plowman's not slowing down for the accident. And gets into the back of Joseph Newgarden. Caution is out. Pit stops made. 29 laps to go. The former winner is done for the day.